Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, uh, we're going to go into the audio effects folder inside Logic Pro. And what I'm basically going to do is open up uh, an EQ and I'm going to basically show you guys the options that the EQ uh, has to offer or the plugin has to offer. Basically show you guys how it works, give you guys a little a little uh, peace of mind on it. Um, uh, this is mostly for beginners and new users to Logic. I just want to show you guys around, get you guys a little bit more familiar with it. And uh, I, I just want to be beneficial. My ultimate goal is to make you guys learn today. So we're going to go into audio effects, down to EQ. We're going to go to single band EQ today. So what this does, it just it's a single band EQ, exactly what it does. It, it will uh, cut or increase one uh, one uh, one, EQ, uh, one frequency response. So you can either go low cut, low shelf, uh, parametric, high shelf, or high cut you guys can select your EQ uh, well uh, what frequency you guys want uh, you guys want to uh, you guys want to affect you guys got your slope right here by how much you want to slope it uh, and you guys got your Q factor so basically what you want to do is go uh, um, uh, uh, higher if you guys want to sweep you just, you just higher it higher it to the top bring this all the way down and just sweep and you'll see what areas that are dirty you guys can clean them up basically by uh, by just taking uh, by just taking away the the DB of it. Um, uh, I hope you guys learned something new. Again, this this is in, this is this is uh based on what kind of option you guys choose, like low cut, low shelf, parametric, high shelf, or high cut. Uh, basically, the best way to learn is just throw it on a vocal track. You know, play around with the frequency response and the Q factor and the slope and the EQ mode and see what and see what you get the best result out of. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I've been beneficial to you guys. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe.